Hey, what's up arty people? My name is Julie and welcome to my art channel. So for today's video, I thought that I would do like a little tips and tricks um, for creating like a frosty effect. It's getting pretty cold where I'm at. I live in Alaska and it's actually pretty late in the year for it to be getting pretty cold, but it is and I love it and I want to paint it. So these are just like a few things that I've stumbled upon because it's kind of difficult to get like a frost, it's, it's easy to get like a cold atmosphere, but it's kind of difficult to get like a frosty atmosphere or frost like on trees or on windowsills. Uh, at least it was for me until I came across these three little tricks. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, subscribe for more art videos every Tuesday and Saturday. All right, let's get to it. So first things first, I'm gonna tape off, cause I'm just gonna show you three different techniques right here. So I'm gonna tape them off. So I've got three little sections. Um, and then the other tools that we're gonna be using today are just normal plastic wrap, some, Salt, I use Epsom salt, you can use table salt, sea salt, whatever kind of salt. Uh, and then I also have this titanium white opaque, titanium, titanium white opaque M. Gram & Co. Uh, this, I use this all the time, I love this paint. Uh, really any white paint will work, if you have white ink that'll work too. Um, just anything. Uh, yeah, all right, so for this first one, I'm gonna show you with, I'm gonna show you with the clean wrap. And I'm just gonna start by like tearing off a good, doesn't have to be huge, but just a little piece. Um, and I'm gonna set this aside. And then I'm gonna grab a nice big brush and I'm just gonna kind of wet the whole area. I don't want it so wet that it, there's puddles but I want that, I, like I want it to be a little glossy on the surface. Um, I'm also gonna take, I think these two blues, just some cool blues. Um, I'm gonna take these, page wet. And then I'm gonna just go over this entire wet surface with these colors. Um, I think it's like it adds, to it when you do multiple colors of, or like at the very least two different shades of blue. Um, I'm pretty sure you could use more, you could just do one. I don't really think it matters, I just think it looks like there's a bit more depth to it when you do multiples. Okay, and then the best part of this tip is while it's wet, you're just gonna take that cling, cling, cling wrap you're gonna stretch it and then kind of pull it apart and set it right on top. You can add more, you can add less little wrinkles to it, whatever you want. And what this is gonna do is like every place that the cling wrap is touching the paper, it's gonna disperse that wet watercolor that we just put down. So when it dries, and you have to let it dry naturally, you can't like, heat it up at all, obviously, because the plastic will melt. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you just want to let it dry, and then when you take this off, so like if you take it off now, all the water's just gonna go back to it, like it's just gonna spread and go back to how it was. But you just leave it there, let it dry, and then take it off afterwards. So moving on. So this next one is another wet on wet, all of these are wet on wet, wet on wet techniques. Here's the next one. Paper wet. Again, just so that it's shiny, not so that it's pooling. And I'm gonna use salt for this one. And I'm still, I'm gonna use the exact same two blue colors. You just take a pinch of salt. You don't wanna use too much salt. And I, I like the Epsom salt because there's different sizes. Um, and I'm pretty sure sea salt, you'll get kind of the same effect. 
But there's different sizes with the Epson. Um, and you're just gonna sprinkle it all over. And then again, let that dry. I have tried to do this and like heat it with a heat torch on a couple of different projects actually. And what I have found is when you use a heat torch, the, like two things, like if the paper's too wet and you put the salt on it, the salt's gonna stick solidly to the paper. And if you heat it with a heat, if you hit it with a heat torch, the salt's gonna stick to your paper. <laughs> so no heat torch. I'm really impatient and this drives, drives me nuts, but for your sake, I will power through. Okay, so this last one, same deal. We're gonna get it wet. And then we're gonna take, I have some of the titanium white opaque in here. Um, I'm just gonna take a different brush and get this nice and juicy. Like lots of water, nice and juicy. And then you're just gonna drop in little bits. And the reason you want this to be a little bit more wet than these is because you really want that white to like cauliflower and spread across the paper. Uh, but if there's puddles kind of like this one here, then it's not, it's just gonna like mesh into it and it's not actually gonna cauliflower out. And basically that happens when your paper, well your paper does have to be pretty saturated, but it happens when your paper is slightly drier than the paint that you're putting on it. That's how you get that kind of cauliflowering effect. So if like, if you're doing a painting and you don't want that to happen, um, then you need to make sure that your paper is just as wet as your paint. Little tidbit fact for you guys. That took me three years to figure out. <laughs> a lot of failed paintings and about 700 tutorials. So we're just gonna let this dry for a couple minutes and I will see you then. Okay, so this is set for, I don't know, maybe an hour, but uh, it's totally dry now. Um, I like the way this one turned out. It's a lot more subtle and probably more like a snowflake kind of look, like in the background more than a frost. Um, let's go ahead and get the salt. I love the way this one looks. I feel like it's a lot more accurate to like a frosty look. Like if you're going for frost on some leaves or something like that, I feel like this one is like it just so much more accurately, accurately represents it. I love it. I really love how this turned out. And then our last one is this one. And this looks really cool too. This is like more of like a, like ice build up on a window or like on a pond or something like that. Like if you're doing like something that's solid or like that's flat and has frost or ice on it, this, this looks really good. I really like that one. All right, so those are our three cold, icy, Techniques um, again. That's like just the um, crinkle paper or not plastic wrap. That's what it's called. Just the plastic wrap on one, some salt on the other, and then using white paint to kind of like dip in and dab some frost. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, I think my Tuesday speed paint. I'm probably going to try to utilize at least these two in a painting for you guys so if you want to see how you can use these techniques in a painting stay tuned and look forward to my next video um yeah if there's anything else that you guys want to see or like if you have any suggestions for new tutorials or anything like that leave me a comment down below and i will do my best um otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on tuesday